What is the relationship between progressivism and America's founding? Well, let's set the record straight here. Conservatives have spent uh, an enormous amount of time distorting the relationship between progressivism and the founding. Uh, anybody who's actually looked at the history of progressivism and progressive social movements over, over time understands that the founding means a great deal to us as progressives, primarily uh, the, the values of liberty, equality, and a commitment to the general welfare that are seen in the Declaration of Independence and the preamble to the U.S. Constitution. These primary values, these animating values of the country, uh, have been the, the basis of almost all progressive social movements throughout time, whether it's abolition, women's suffrage, civil rights, uh, environmentalism, the expansion of uh, social welfare provisions, all of these things for progressives are grounded in the animating spirit of, of, of the founding of the nation. How did Thomas Jefferson influence progressive thought? Jefferson, of course, as the primary author of the Declaration of Independence, put forth the very progressive liberal notions of liberty and equality and a commitment to uh, life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. These are essential values to progressives. They've animated almost all of our social actions over time. Um, and they remain important to us today. Jefferson is also important to progressives for his uh, civic republican ideas. He talked a lot about self-determination and economic independence, that in order to be a good citizen, uh, you had to be free uh, in many ways, free to carry out your duties. And this was a, uh, an original republican notion, small r republican notion from the founding. And the, uh, and the third thing that people looked at Jefferson for from the progressive side was his understanding of the evolution of uh, institutions and laws. Jefferson was very clear uh, that that documents like the Constitution, uh, other institutions and laws should not be uh, set in stone. That with the advancement of human knowledge, you know, progress in general, that our institutions and laws should be updated. That we shouldn't be beholden to uh, the interpretations of earlier generations. This was a very powerful concept for a lot of the original progressive writers uh, who were trying to update, again, the American tradition to fit uh, its animating spirit of liberty, equality, and commitment to the general welfare, but make it relevant for modern times, which, of course, in the early 20th century was in response to the hardships of industrialization. How did Alexander Hamilton influence progressive thought? Most people would not normally associate Hamilton with uh, liberal or progressive thought given some of the early fights between uh, Jefferson and, and Hamilton. Uh, but Hamilton actually plays a large role in progressive thought, and it's primarily uh, for his contributions to uh, the Constitution and his notion of um, national prosperity requiring public investments. He was a very ardent proponent of strengthening uh, the original Constitution, uh, again, rejecting the, the sort of weak Articles of Confederation where there wasn't a strong national authority. He believed heavily that national prosperity, the growth of the economy, uh, American um, welfare in general required very strong central government. That was one of the, the animating principles of his defense of the Constitution. Uh, and it led to his defense of the National Bank, and it was drawn on for public investments in canals and rivers and roads, other types of infrastructure improvements that, that eventually allowed um, American industry to advance and for the nation to become quite prosperous. So uh, Hamilton, who, who many people may have derided as somewhat of a aristocrat, somewhat elitist, uh, actually had very far-reaching ideas about how government could be used uh, for, for the common good, for, for public purposes. And so at the, at, at the around the, the turn of the 20th century, what you get is a, a synthesis in progressive thought, where Hamiltonian means, meaning a, a national government, uh, are used to achieve Jeffersonian ends. This was a famous configuration in Herbert Crowley's writing, uh, that it took stronger national institutions to meet uh, and, and bring about the actual defense of democracy, real liberty, and real equality. <laughs>